<laughs> Life is good, sis. Thank you so much for yesterday's answer, by the way. I had to watch it later. Okay, good. I don't know what the answer it was, but I'm glad that it was something that you were looking for or benefited from. Zaki the Pianist says, part one of two. Hello, Mehran. I'm a new follower of your work. I've broken up with my ex months ago. One of the things that's making it so hard to move on is the thought that I will never get a better girlfriend in the future. <laughs> throw that thought out right now. <laughs> Whether you see it, believe it or not, just throw it out. If you have any, any trust in, in what we are talking about, because definitely that's just a momentary belief because you have no other pastry waiting for you and you think that was the only pastry and most delicious one and that you could have had there's so many bakeries and so many pastries and you would be you you would be out of your mind to think that was the only tasty pastry or the bakery that could make that pastry there's so many others just because that was the one in front of your eyes that was the one that you tried that was the bakery that you were in and you don't know any other bakery right now at the moment that doesn't mean that no other bakery is there that doesn't mean that nobody else can make that kind of pastry so i think you get to understand what i'm trying to say as this um metaphor uh, so that part you should logically understand that is not correct if you go on that premise uh, just you're wasting your time because whether you want it or not you're going to meet so many other women so many other possibilities that it's just totally nonsense to believe that way but it's normal that's how we all think because that's the one that you know and that's the one that has a place in the field of the known the consciousness and you you function based on your experiences and you feel psychological security based on what you know and what you know is her and what you don't know you cannot believe in and you cannot be motivated by what you don't know and what you don't know is other girls that are going to be there and you're going to meet with them at one point in life but that's not in the field of your vision that's not in your consciousness that's not experience that you know of and since you don't know of you think it doesn't exist people believe what they know and what they believe you need to know that there's going to be other girls because you don't see them therefore and you don't even believe it because you it doesn't come from a source that you can be um, you believe in that source that they've told you yeah uh, the some heavenly um, uh, message has come to you that there is a girl waiting for you and you believe that then you're fine but you neither see it nor you know it you don't see it because they're not lining up so you think it doesn't exist you don't know it because you haven't heard it from some reputable um, uh, credible uh, source to believe that such thing exists therefore you think it doesn't exist because you neither you see it nor you know it and people believe what they see and what they know and in this case, you have neither. Therefore, you think, oh, there's no other girl. But how did you know you're going to meet this one before you met this one? Did you know that you're going to meet this one before you met this one? No, you didn't. Well, you're in the same position now. You don't know that you will meet the next one. But you will. Why? Because you met this one. And you didn't know that you're going to meet this one. But yet you did. And the same way you are now, you don't know that you're going to meet another one, but you will. Not knowing doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. There are lots of things we don't know in this life, but they all did happen, didn't they? Everything that happened, we didn't know. And the same thing here. Just because you don't know doesn't mean it's not going to happen. For the same reason that you didn't know that this one's going to happen, you're going to meet this one, but you did. Before you met her, you didn't know you're going to meet her. But you did. The same thing. You don't know you're going to meet the next one, but you will. And on that premise, relax. Relax. This 
screen, this movie can only fit in so much information in two hours. You will have to wait until the time passes, this movie finishes, and the next movie starts, and you'll see what information, what scenes are in that movie. So the same way, you can't be seeing everything is going to happen in your life in that one span of time, so you can be rest assured that these things will happen, so I don't have to worry. This is part of this experience of life, for you to go up and down, oh, I lost this girl, oh, no, I'm not going to meet anybody else, and then you meet somebody, oh, yeah, I was wrong, oh, this is better, oh, my goodness, I was waiting for this one, and that doesn't work out, and you say, oh, my goodness, I lost my whole life, and then you meet another one and say, oh, I was waiting for this, who were they? I don't give a damn about them. This is the the one I want. It's always going to be this way. And this is part of life. And that's the beauty of it. Lots of wonderful things you don't know is in the works. You know, you stand in front of the ocean and you look at the ocean and you see no ships. And you say, well, there is no ships in the ocean. Nonsense. There's no ocean, there's no ships in the, in the field of your vision while you're looking at the ocean. But somewhere in the center of the ocean that you're, you can't see there are many ships on their way in different locations, different destinations. One or many of them are coming towards you, but just can't see it. If you can't see it, doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It's on its way. So continue your life, do your things, focus on accomplishing your tasks and your goals. And in time, the waves will bring you what they are carrying, whether you see them or not at the moment. <clears throat> let's see if I have answered your question this is part of one or two I'm new and okay, okay. hard to move on is it thought <clears throat> and then the second one part of your question is that um, it's so hard to move on is the thought that I will never get a better girlfriend in the future okay and then you say my ex is an alpha male oh alpha oh my ex is an alpha female I see my ex is an alpha female I didn't know there's an alpha female but okay goes for what she wants her body especially is smoking hot <laughs> that body changes it's not going to remain smoking hot you better find someone who's got a body and a mind yeah both are communicating with you at the resonance level that you find it hot and that could last a little longer than uh, solely on the heat of the body or fitness of the body the average girl just don't match up to her in what way <laughs> of course they do what good is a girl who doesn't want to be with you i don't care how hot she is if this d if this wheel doesn't turn for you i don't care if it turns at all you have to remember this If this wheel doesn't turn for you, I don't care if it turns at all. I don't care how hot she is. If she's not for you, if she's sleeping with somebody else, if she's in a relation with somebody else, if she hasn't chosen to um, dedicate herself and her interaction relationship with you, what do you care if she's hot or not? Focus and pay attention and value and respect to the one who is making an opportunity available for you to be with you and to interact with you. That's the one that you should focus on. I don't care. So many women in this world, they're really physically hot. What does that mean? Is that a guarantee that there's gonna, they're going to give you a good life? There's so many hot women in this world that they're married to some guy or they're in a relationship with some guy but they leave her or they leave him and the guy might be very good looking and the girl might be very pretty and they're all together and then they separate so being pretty or hot in either case is not going to 
be the ingredient that is necessary for keeping them together because they're not staying together even though they're both good looking so <laughs> physical attributes is not going to be a guarantee feature for the duration of the relationship so who cares if she's hot what does that hotness means when it, the ingredients to enjoy and share and interact on level that build something if it's not possible then who cares <laughs> uh, she's hot okay so beyond that physical intimacy what's there what can be built what can she offer is she going to be there when you having turbulence in life or she expect you to be there when she has turbulence in life but when you have no and if she's counting on herself to be the hot body that everybody, every man on earth wants, then that's not the girl you want anyhow. You want a girl who meets your standard or is hot as you think she should be, but also wants to be only with you. She's dedicated as you are. Then you got something. Otherwise, so many hot girls and so many handsome men, what do they do for the women who they can't uh, rely on it? Uh, the connection on the consciousness level. Focus on these things and get over that physical um, uh, 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 infatuation because that's not the only thing that's necessary in a, a relationship to be of some worth and value. It has to be a combination of things. One of them could be meeting each other's physical standards, fitness and looks and this and that. But even if that is met, still not going to be guaranteed to keep a relationship together you know that so it has to be a complete package go look for a complete package uh, don't worry about how hot she is uh, you know you're a, what, is, what, what is your age zaki what is your age i don't see it here remember guys protocol is where you tuning in from how old you are and if you're man or woman now uh, obviously you must be young and in that age you know all you're thinking is you're with your, you know, with your, you know, that. But go beyond that and choose correctly. Because the quality of what you're choosing is what's going to help you to establish a meaningful and long-lasting relationship. And not uh, just choosing it on the visual aesthetics that pleases you. What is making that pleasing?